Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to apply squash and stretch into your animation when you are animating it in After Effects. So, let's start. Okay, so this is another lesson on principle of animation where we are going to learn how to add squash and stretch with the help of this particular animation and after that we are going to apply the same techniques to add squash and stretch even in character animation so at the end of this lesson we are going to add squash and stretch in this particular character walk cycle so let's jump on to after effects okay so right now we are inside of after effects and in this lesson we are going to animate this particular location icon and we are going to add some squash and stretch into it okay so first of all i'm going to move the anchor point and just put it over here and after that i will simply move it above to somewhere around here and put a position property and also a scale property as well okay then i will jump on to next 12 frames and after that i will bring it over here all right so after that i'm going to add and also just change the motion graph editor so first of all i'm going to change the position and separate its dimension and because we are only going to use y axis over here so it's better to work with only one axis and also for position property you can only use value graph editor if you separate the dimensions so after that i'm going to just simply stiff it stiff this part somewhere like this and slightly give it a flat curve so what it means is its speed will continuously increase till it reaches to this point so that is what we need it right now you can also take the reference from these dots these are each of the frames at this particular time frame in between these 12 frames okay let's preview it first Okay, I'm going to jump on to next 10 frames and just move it over here and let's check it. And I will also change it, change the graph editor slightly more. I will just make it more stiffer. All right. And after that, we are going to add squash and stretch to it. So at this particular point, the whole icon will be stretched. And after that, when it strikes over here, it will be squashed and after that it will again squash and stretch few times because we are we want to give it a bouncy look to it so that's why and also we can emphasize the overshoot a little bit more with this uh with more adding more bounciness to it so at this particular point it will stretch so i'm going to break the break this connection of y and x and y axis so right now we can scale up and scale down each of the individual axis so first of all i'm going to add 10 to the y axis and let's add let's subtract 10 from x axis so when you are animating squash and stretch so remember that the amount of uh, the amount with which you are squashing a particular shape or an object should be equal to the amount of or uh, amount with which you are stretching it so here i have just uh, added 10 percent to y axis so i have to subtract 10 percent from x axis as well as we are stretching and at this particular point it will squash so the whole thing will reverse okay so to emphasize this this squashness we can simply add the same keyframe again and then we can just add the overshoot to it so it will look like it is just uh it uh, it's uh it just strikes the ground very hard so after that we are going to squash it so i'm going to jump on to next six frames we are going to add some uh, overshoot to it so right now we are going to again stretch it So right now we are going to again add some squash to it. Okay, first of all, let's ease all the keyframes and check the animation. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice though. 
so so like this uh, and you can notice that one more thing that uh, to add the bounciness i have simply decayed the amount of squash and stretch i mean i haven't abruptly used uh, it so such as over here i have added 90 and 110 and again i have just subtracted and added five percent to it then again two percent then again one percent and then again 0 0.5 and then again it's in initial pose Okay, so right now we are going to add some jump to this animation. So we are going to leave around 5 frames and just add the same all the same keyframes to it. And then again I will jump on to next 6 frames and then I will just simply squash it slightly. And then we are going to add slight stretch to it and at the same point we are going to just uh, the whole icon will simply jump off the ground so we are going to add let's say eight frames and simply i will slightly move it above and also add some stretch to it and again i will just move on to next eight frames and and add the initial pose So before just I will just move on to one frame before and I will just add squash again some stretch to it because when it is moving down it will uh, it will have some stretch as well. Okay so after that again the same process we are going to add some overshoot to it. So for that I will jump on to next 6 frames and simply copy the copy all the frames. So let's preview it. Okay so I am going to delete it and just add the stretch somewhere around here because that's not looking that good. So what I am going to do is I am going to simply go somewhere around the middle and simply copy copy only the scale property and at this particular point it will be at its normal position and again at this particular point it will again stretch and then it will squash so let's preview it now yeah so what i have done is here i have just simply added squash uh, a slight squash the reason behind it is uh we are going we are adding some anticipation to it so i may i have also uploaded a lecture on how to apply anticipation on your animation you can check it out so i will simply move the whole thing slightly uh to one frame because i think if i make this animation a bit faster it will look better all right so like this you can add squash and stretch into your animation so you can also do the same for character animation as well such as this one okay so as we have learned how to add squash and stretch or animate squash and stretch in after effects so let's add some squash and stretch in this particular walk cycle animation okay so i have already shown you how to animate walk cycle animation in after effects so all the links will be in description okay so in a walk cycle the body comes up and down or bounces off two times so this is the lowest point of the walk cycle and this is the highest point of the walk cycle at this particular point we are going to add some squash to it so i am just adding five percent on skill so first of all let's add keyframes so i'm going to add let's add seven and i'm going to add seven percent from y-axis and we are going to just make it the opposite way so we are going to copy it alternatively 
okay let's easy is the keyframes and we are going to add loop expression to it okay let's preview it and if we simply offset it again about three frames okay uh, it's uh, giving uh, i mean the squash and stretch is too much although if you really need this much squash and stretch if you make want to make something more bouncy or give it some bouncy look to the animation then it may help you out or even you if you just offset it by another frame the whole bounciness will be more exaggerated i mean you can fill it okay so like this you can add squash and stretch into your animation when you are animating in after effects even uh, there are lots of ways you can add squash and stretch even in jump animation so that's why i'm going to also show you in the next lesson how to animate a jump animation okay so that is it for this lesson if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson then make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye